Hello friends and welcome to another Pokemon video. I hope you're all well and I've just got to say one thing. Happy, happy Pokemon day. I hope you've had a great day. I'm super late getting this up. Um, I work like full time. Another job. Unfortunately, means I don't get the time to actually put these up in time. But I did want to put a video up. It's Pokemon day. I've got to put a video up. And there's lots of stuff that we've had going on. We've had the new mythical Pokemon announced and revealed in the new Coco movie, which is pretty exciting, and a new Grass and Dark type Pokemon. Um, I'm not going to cover that in this video, just mention it. But uh, the main news, because we are all about Sword and Shield on the channel at the minute, we have got some event Dynamax Pokemon and new event dens that are running right now at the moment. So what we'll do first of all is hop over to our trusty source and uh, Cerebi.net. The link will be down in the description below. Let's get rid of that download link. But you can see now we have the new events running at the moment for a very short period only. We have Bulbasaur, Charmander and Squirtle. The Kanto starters are going to be available in the event dens uh, that are running at the minute. Along with what we're currently running with the the, um, the Gigantamax Kingler, the Grimmsnarl and the Toxtricity Orbeetle and Hatterene. So you've got the pre-evolutions there. But you can see that you can get the, the Kanto starters like I said along with the other ones and um, you can also get Ivysaur, Charmeleon and War Total. So Ivysaur and War Total and Squirtle and Bulbasaur previously not available in the games are now available for a short period of time and the big one we'll get into a bit more details in a minute the big one is going to be Mewtwo. So Mewtwo is now available in these events as well. The only catch with Mewtwo is you cannot and there was no pun intended there. You cannot catch Mewtwo. You can only defeat it in the raid dens. And you can just reap the rewards that you get for catching Mewtwo. Which are pretty pretty good to be honest. You get things like um, Ability Capsule. Which is crazy good considering it costs so much money to get in Battle Points. And Battle Points are hard to come by in this game. Um, you get Red Candies. The big kicker though is the experience candies that you get. So you're guaranteed to always get 20 large experience candies and 20 and 10 XL candies, which is crazy, which is really good. Really, really good. A bunch of other items as well. You're going to get um, a, a giant or a big nugget there. You're going to get the, the common shard, PP ups, uh, rare candies and psychic is the TR that you get with Mewtwo. Like I say, the only drawback is you can't catch this Pokemon uh, and it is level 100 and it is extremely difficult to to defeat. I've been doing a bunch of them on stream tonight. We did a bunch of Mewtwo Den Raids and I would just recommend that you invite others and make sure you when you go into the battle, you've got a bunch of Pokemon. You've got like a full team of people behind you helping you out and make sure that you've got some sort of strategy things that aren't weak to Mewtwo uh, resist the psychic typing resist fighting if possible it's hard if you want to play a dark type for sure um but I've been speaking to a lot of people they're kind of going along the lines of like if you've got Dawnwings Necrozma if you've got Lunala they're great Pokemon to bring against Mewtwo Grimmsnarl also really nice if you can fit it in the squad of four people that you've got, it provides screen support. Taunt as well as a, a big tip that we picked up on stream tonight to shut down the Mewtwo. Nasty plotting, bulking up like it likes to do. It just makes it a little easier for you guys. Um, but well worth it for the time period that it is running to do these dens just for the XP candy. So you can level up those Pokemon a lot quicker. Um, and the items that you're going to get from the Kanto starters. These are the, the, the gems, I think, honestly from these event Pokemon because you are able finally to get the Flame Orb and Toxic Orb that were otherwise really really impossible to get in the games because the only way you could get them was grinding through the uh, the championship uh, in uh, Winden um, and by chance the ball guy giving you them so um, as you can see on your screen we'll hop back into the game you get a bunch of other nice things TRs and uh, items there the, the Squirtle of the War Turtle gives you the Life Orb. You get the Flame Orb from the Charmander or Charmeleon and the Toxic Orb from the Ivysaur. They've got good rates to pop up in the events, but like I say, they are only, only running from literally today, the 27th of February. They are running from Pokemon Day until this coming Sunday, the 1st of March. 
is when they are going to end and I would imagine then the dens, the event dens will reset to what they were, the Gigantamax Kingler, um, the Toxicity, the Grimmsnarl, Hatterene and the Ore Beetle depending on what copy of the game you've got Sword or Shield. Um, so just make sure if you are wanting to get these Pokemon, take advantage of the items that are available in the games. I would definitely recommend getting yourself at least one Toxic Orb, one Flame Orb. Um, if that's the bare minimum that you get, just make sure that you get those uh, while you've got the chance before this event does shift. And if there's any updates with new Pokemon coming in on the 1st of March when, or on the 2nd of March when these events finish, I will uh, surely update you with the news. But uh, we're going to hop back over into the game now because I do have a den ready to go. It is... Well, can you guys guess? It's only a four star, so I'm not going to invite anyone. We're going to just go straight into it, catch it, see what we get, and uh, we'll be able to see. I think it's Ivysaur. It might be Bulbasaur, though. It is Ivysaur! There we go. And finally, in the games, officially, not through Pokemon Home, which you can get already, but it's nice to be able to get these Pokemon in games, especially if you can't access Pokemon Home for whatever reason. Or you don't have any of the previous Pokemon titles to get these Pokemon. So really nice way for us to get them and uh, we'll just see how we can do it and uh, get through this. It shouldn't take too long, um, but quite fitting really. Bulbasaur was my first Pokemon that I ever chose when I got my copy of Pokemon Red when I was Ooh, a wee lad. Oh, we lad. We'll say I was tiny and uh, yeah, so it feels fitting Pokemon day. Here we are Sword and Shield probably one of my favorite Pokemon titles since red blue and yellow and I'm being like deadly serious I Love and I cannot say how much I have got so much love for Sword and Shield so um, Quite fitting that we're uh, We're capturing this this Ivy saw as our, as our first one in this video example anyway, so I hope though that you guys, if you get involved with the event raids going on at the minute, have a lot of success. Uh, you'll have a lot of fun um, trying to beat the Mewtwo for sure. It's a real challenge and um, we I was talking on the stream earlier about the Mewtwo raid in particular because we have the, um, the Tundra coming out, the DLC, the second DLC which is due out I think November time or late fall. There's no exact date yet for when that will be um, released, but that is going to have um, a bunch of the legendary Pokemon available to catch in it. And they did state that there would be dens where you'd have to go in with friends to battle the legendary Pokemon. Now, I would imagine from what Mewtwo is like, this is going to be very similar to maybe what the legendaries are going to be like in the DLC. And if they are up to the same part like of difficulty, it's going to be extremely hard and it makes legendaries probably for the first time in a Pokemon history's game lifespan, uh, legendaries are going to be as hard to get as probably what like that legendary mantle kind of holds for these Pokemon, making them very difficult to capture because in previous games, they're not really that difficult to get a hold of. They've not been hard to find, not been hard to capture, defeat. But Mewtwo is certainly a challenge, even for the most experienced Pokemon trainer. So we've defeated the Ivysaur. Do we risk a dive ball? I love a dive ball. Uh, but for this example, we'll go for a Dusk Ball, just to make sure. Repeat Ball probably gives us a little bit of a better chance, but we will catch this Ivysaur, see what goodies we get from the rewards, and uh, then we can wrap things up. But remember, it's running from today, the 27th of February, until the 1st of March. So just make sure that you take advantage. I've said this many times through the video, so sorry if I'm repeating myself. But just to make sure you are aware, it is only for a limited time only, the, these events. So just, I would take advantage of them while you can. If you can't for whatever reason and you're watching this video after the 1st of March, I'm going to have a bunch of these Pokemon spare. So hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know and I'm happy to trade you across some spares that I do have. Um, so yeah, that is it. You do see the items there very briefly, of course. Um, but here we go. There's some ones I caught earlier. And uh, we can take a look at the Ivysaur. Just to let you know that these Pokemon do have the, uh, the chance to have their hidden abilities as well. All the Kanto starters can have their hidden abilities, so just making you aware of that, it is really nice as well going forward. You can see here, the Ivysaur actually has Chlorophyll, which is its hidden ability, which is amazing. Uh, Sludge Bomb, Energy Ball, Resilief, and Body Slam, so very good and super happy with that. 
enjoy the rest of Pokemon Day. I hope you do have a great day. I have enjoyed it. All the announcements that have come out and uh, it's going to be another great year of Pokemon. I feel we've got the DLCs coming out later this year and it's going to be very exciting um, and lots of other things going on in the meantime. But I will make sure to cover everything as and when they come out. Um, thanks for tuning in. Do drop a like, subscribe on the channel and uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are about the Mewtwo Raid Dens. If you've had any luck with them, how hard you found them and which one of your Kanto starters is the one that you've went for. Which one's your favorite? Let me know down in the comment section. But yeah, enjoy Pokemon Day. Happy Pokemon Day, everyone. And I'll see you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.